Hi. Do you like crunchy foods? Do you like ASMR? Then we've got the thing for you. I'm Lena. I'm Kylie. And all of you will join us at a later time. Let's jump right into the video. Hello. Welcome back. Today, I'm um, Olivia's missing, but we have to videotape. So yeah, we're just going to try um, two different things. Goldfish and just some crunchy crackers. crackers. They're too crunchy, snacky type of foods. Yeah. First we're going with the goldfish. I'll just pour some out. Sounds good. I really do love you some good goldfish. <clears throat> I love goldfish in general, so. Do you like, is there like a certain kind that you like? Do you like, like the colored ones or just like the normal channel ones? Or? I like the, like, the red and the green ones and then these ones and then the extra cheddar ones. Mm-hmm. I like that one. Yeah, they're good. Let's see here. effects to work. Hello? No, voice effects never work. I know. Anyways, did you like them, Kylie? Yep. That's good. Good. We'll go in with the cold. Second. You think this will reach? They're called Munchies, Cheeto flavored. Cheddar cheese crackers. I've tried like the peanut butter ones. I like the peanut butter ones, but I do not like. There's a. It's really weird. Really, I don't really know about them. They're peanut butter and jelly. They were terrible. I don't like jelly. I like strawberry jelly. Mm -hmm. Yep, this is how I remember them. They're really... They are good. My bottom teeth really hurt. How have you been? Did you go the whole thing lately? I'm going April 1st. By the way, we don't have school April 1st. It's Easter Monday. Well, these are our two snacks. Mm -hmm. Are you excited for Easter? Um, I don't think I'm doing anything. So. Well, I'm in my grandma's house in Groton, and I'm also going to be. Yeah, it's gonna be cold probably. So that's no good. So I'm probably not gonna be able to do anything really fun. I'm going to church. And then my mom, I think, is my favorite ham. Yeah. We'll have a good meal. As per usual. But um yeah, I totally forgot about filming. Well, I mean, we had it was a snow day Monday and we didn't have this class Tuesday because of the play. Yeah, it was two hours late yesterday. And so, I mean, we could have had it. But, but there's like the a roads were pretty bad. But yeah. Even after two hours late. Yeah, there's, um, we have a road schedule when it's um, two hours late. We go from first hour to fourth hour. And then after lunch, we do fifth Sixth, first, second, third, seventh, no, eighth. No, not first. No, no just first. second, third, seventh, eighth. That's that's kind of a weird schedule. Yeah. I don't know. I don't just keep it the same. Yeah. 
but yeah. Mm-hmm. That's really all we got. I mean, you can just keep talking a little bit, but how is the play? Um, the play was good. Um, Kylie wasn't there for the afternoon performance. No. For the night day. For the nighttime performance. I was in the actual play. Um, I messed up my lines at the nighttime one. It was kind of a disaster. But I did get after my first line. Um, I messed it up. I just kept stumbling on my words. It was so bad. I was like, I couldn't remember my words when I kept like looking at the TV because that's where the words are. Yeah. Like the words are on the TV. And, um, yeah, but then we had like a choral reading for our class. And our class, we did okay. I mean, actually it was kind of good. Our class did good. Um, they were louder, believe it or not, that we were missing four people. We were missing Kylie, she was at dance, um, Riley, Royce, and Easton. Easton left right after the afternoon performance. We don't know where the other t- two were. Um, but, um, yeah, that was actually louder than... Um, the afternoon performance, the night one was. I think that's on HGTV too. So if you want to watch that, um, you know, it's one thing I can't like. Like, why are serving? Like, what is like? I know what a serving size is, but like, is that just per day, or is that per scene, or is that just recommended? Serving size is like per sitting 55 pieces. How many pieces do you think come in here? 55 times 6 servings. 50 mm. times, what's 50 times 6? Mm. I don't know. probably don't want you to eat this. Well, because you're not supposed to have that much, so many calories. Yeah, so this is like per what's, day. What's 5 times 6? 30? 30. Yeah, there's like 300 pieces of goldfish in here. Or when it was full. I probably don't need 55 pieces. I don't need more than 55 pieces. <laughs> then I get that some people like on diets and want a certain amount of calories, but like, do they seriously weigh their food? Because like some serving sizes are like per ounces. That's like six ounces of chips or like I don't really know but I'm just guessing I get hungry all the time and it's really bad because I just keep eating and keep eating but then I finally decide to do something with my life sometimes I go well sometimes I don't yeah. it's been snowing lately so I don't know there's a hundred mile challenge like going on is, is there? Yeah. I don't know when it's doing that. Yeah. I think I'm going to do it. I don't know when it ends, but... Yeah. I have a piece of paper for it. Yeah. Um, there was a whole week there where I ran for like... Two or three miles. It was so nice outside. Um, and when it gets nice again, I'm going to start running again, but... I was running, I was walking and running, slash running, like, five miles every day, and I was like, I don't know. I just kept going. (laughs) I always think about, like, I guess you never really, I mean, I know some people do die from running, but, like, if it's not super hot out, you can kind of just run forever. Mm -hmm. And you don't even have to go fast. You can just kind of move. Yeah. You can even walk if you want. I'm gonna be able to run where, like, I can run and don't get tired, so when I run, I just, I just run for peace and quiet. Yeah. Runs when you run by yourself are really nice. Mm-hmm. And you turn up your music and you just run. Yep. That's a good thing to you just... Do you take your dog with you? Yeah, because she's fat. <laughs> she actually does really good, but she's still fat. Supposedly, 
I read an article where labs are more prone to being fat. Like, they don't have a where to stop eat meter, so she's always hungry. Um, she gets into stuff, but she has it lightly. She just eats poop, and poop's probably not good for you. <laughs> was Baxter a lab? Um, he was mixed with something. He was big. Anyways, one time I was at Kylie's house, and I dropped my spaghetti on the floor, and Baxter ate it. I don't know why that. He's a big boy. Yeah, he was. Yeah. When he died, he, like, backed into his, like, we just had gotten hope, and she was just a puppy, so she slept in a crate. Um, we left her out that night, and she... Baxter backed in. He, like, he was a big dog, and it was not, a, like, a big enough crate for him. He backed into, because he wouldn't have been able to turn around in it, he backed into the crate and died. That's so sad. Um. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't really remember. I mean, I kind of remember some dogs. Dying. Um, I we have had three dogs that I like know of. Actually, five, not three. So Misty was um, Duke's Duke's mom, and Kobe was Duke's dad. And Misty got leg cancer and she died shortly after Duke was born. And, um, Kobe died because he was so old. Kobe was really fat. He was super fat. Anyways, then, I don't really remember either of them dying, though. And then, um, what do you call that? Um, Duke ran over and got some of their dog pregnant. And so then we took their puppies because the guy didn't want them. And so then we have... We have um, a Weimarder Labrador mix. We call him a Weimarder. And so, one is named Turk and one is named Bella, but they're both girls. One of the really named Turk. Anyways. Yeah. We have another dog named Bree, and my parents were gone, and she just, like, showed up, and my sister thought she was a wolf, and so... Like, we chased it out of the yard, and my other dog, Hope, was chasing it. And then they would, like, go back and forth chasing. But then it, we found it was a dog. So we, she jumped on the four-wheeler, and we brought her back. And we, my mom did not want to give her water or food, otherwise she would have stayed. But um, when my mom got back, because she came back, she gave it food and water. So then it left for a couple days. It walked to Wilbur and then it came back, and then it was lightning one day, and so my dad let it in, <laughs> and then she, he told it to stay in the porch, and then it just sat there all night, and my mom wanted, no, somebody wanted to take it to the pound, but here she is. How many dogs do you have? Three? Two. Two. My sister drops her dog off a lot. Which one is that? Ashley. She just know which dog. <laughs> oh, brother. Oh, yeah. Doesn't your other brother have a dog, too? Yeah. But since Mia died, he doesn't bring it to her house anymore because his girlfriend's sister always likes to watch um, Tess. Oh, yeah. Me, personally, I'm not a big fan of Tess. She just, she just keeps moving. What about Mia? Did you like Mia? Well... Not when she got old, because she couldn't hear. Um, so she wouldn't listen. And she pooped in our house. <laughs> and we had to put her up at the shop. Every time she came to our house, she would sit up at the shop. I felt bad for her, because she was old. But she would, like, poop in the shop all over. Even though she got let outside. Yeah. Yeah. And it's really weird, but, like, dogs, I feel like, at least my... The Duke, our boy dog, he, like, can just endlessly pee. It's like, how? <laughs> What's going on? It's like they mark their territory everywhere. 
Mm-hmm. Whenever we or her pees, then the other one has to pee. Yes. The other dogs will, like, pee, and then Duke will wait for them to be done, and then go pee on top of it. <laughs> because it's like, no, like, I'm, I'm here. When okay. we showed up, she would lift her, she would squat down, but then she'd lift one leg up when she peed. So she was peeing like a boy and a girl. She would, like, squat down and lift her leg up. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird. Mm-hmm. She is a girl, so I don't know. We had two cats, and one of them, um, she got something, I can't remember what it was, but every day and morning, I had to give her an insulin shot. Diabetes. Beans? <laughs> <laughs> did it have diabetes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it did have diabetes. And so, and so we had to sp- feed her this special kind of food, and then... I woke up, I gave her a shot, and then... Where did you give him the shot? In the neck? In the neck. She had like a fat hump where I put the shot in, so I always knew where to give it. Yeah. Um, um, when I was a baby, she would like jump into my crib. It was pretty sad when she died because she would always lay with me in my sleep. But then one night, she had never peed in my bed. She peed right beside my face. <laughs> And so, I, so it, like, I had to, I noticed something was off about her, because, I don't know, she was just being weird. And then she peed in my bed, and so I had to go put her in the porch, and then found out she has diabetes. That's interesting. My cats are naughty. They, like, they always, they never want to come out of the house. They're, like, house garage outside cats. Like, they can live outside. They're fine outside. But then they get their food inside at the garage. And most of the time they're in the house. But, like, before we go anywhere, like, they don't want to go outside. It's like they can sense that we're leaving. And so then they always go hide. Or my fat cat, he just stays there where he's sitting, just sleeping. Anyways, um, they pee sometimes, and we always have to find where it's at, because otherwise it's like, where is that smell coming from? But the night I got a weighted blanket for Christmas, and the day after, Vanessa, our little girl cat, she was little, she's little than Vince, anyways, she came in, peed right on my blanket, and... I wasn't in there, so I didn't know. When I went in there, big white spot on my blanket. So I had to change on my bedding. And cat pee is very distinct. Oh, it is so stinky. Sometimes you can't tell until like a couple minutes later, but then when it starts to get old, it's so bad. Yeah. And then I have two. We have two cats up at the shop, and wild cats. Like there's been a lot of cat at, cats at my house. There's like. A gray one, a black one, and our boy cat, Baron. He keeps trying to have a standoff with them, and he's just a little boy. I mean, he's grown up, but he's just a baby, and he keeps starting wanting to start fights with them, and he won't win, so. What was your cat that, like, had a hole in it or something? Had a hole? No. He had a... He had a heat stroke, and then he lived for a couple days. And then he died. No, it wasn't there like a cat, like when I was at your house, like right in the middle of their back. Oh. It was like a hole or something. It's because one of the cats stayed overnight at my Joe's and he crawled under his premise. And oh, yeah. it got a scratch and then we had to take it to the vet. Yeah, but the only thing we take our cats to the vet for is shots. I mean, obviously, enough to get hurt. Yeah. One time, I came home, and I was in elementary school, and my dog wasn't moving. Like, she would move, but she wouldn't stand up. She would just sit there and crawl. And so I called my mom, because nobody was home. And I called my mom, and so when she got home, she took her to the vet. And she had, like, some kind of infection in her stomach, because she ate some bad food. 
from the garbage. It's semi-attic. I like this horse medicine. Our dog got into something and it was so bad because the dog, like he, okay, so Duke will run, will bark at the ranger until he go faster. Like he is a fast moving dog. He like never stops moving. And he like just would run fast, wouldn't bark, wouldn't do anything. So they took him to the vet. And they figured out there was something wrong. I can't really remember, but they thought he ate some antifreeze. And that can, like, mess up your blood system. A dog's blood system. And then they, um, they thought that, so, like, they took him to the vet, and he, like, stayed there overnight. And then my dad, the next day, got a call. And my dad was like, oh, well, I bet he died or something. And then he's like, no, you have to come take him back because he will not stay in our kennels. Like, he's running around. And I was like, well, anyways. So after that, they're great, crazy dogs. Anyways, I think that's all we've got. Really? Well, I'm just going to out.